Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Destroyer Wrestling. And inside of that ring, we have two very interesting fellows. We have the Grandmaster and the person he is managing that, that rock looking creature, Cork. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. As you heard, a Grandmaster is looking for a challenger against Korg. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We all know who this is. We all know this music. Is he really here? Is this icon, is this legend really here? Shit, it's Taz, ladies and gentlemen. Taz is a destroyer. One of the most feared wrestlers of all time. Pat of Cage, Pat of Cage. I think, I think I know who he's referring to. I think it's, it's the machine. Brian Cage, Brian Cage is also a destroyer. Ladies and gentlemen, the roster is getting really stacked around here. They call him Mr. GMS, I forget my shit in. And that's because this dude just has a lot of moves that looks like he got it from a video game. Brian Cage is one hybrid powerhouse. And I cannot wait for this matchup. Your eyes are not fooling you. We have two titans inside of that ring. Brian Cage and Korg who is literally out of this world. That dude is an actual alien. And the bell rings. And we have these two ginormous meaty men. I can already feel the vibrations from here, but I was assured that this ring has been reinforced before this match. And Brian Cage with a belly to belly suplex. I can't believe it. What did I just see? He just took down an alien and he's bringing him to the corner. Now Brian Cage is taking it to court who I was told has a space gladiatorial experience but not a pro wrestling experience and he eats that elbow to the face and followed by an enzigori by brian cage brian cage massive german suplex by brian cage and he goes for the cover here i am not even surprised that cord kicked out i mean that is an actual alien rock dude you're messing with and Korg catches that super kick and Zaguri, but he fails because Korg invades with that one. And an invasion by Cage, but he pays for it with an elbow to the face and a massive boot taking down Brian Cage. And now Korg is celebrating too early, just pin him already, Korg. And Grand, I, I agree with a Grandmaster here and telling Korg to go on with a pin, but Brian Cage is already up. Massive dropkick by Brian Cage sends Korg to the ropes. And a clothesline, and Cork is set outside of the ring, and he lands on the Grandmaster, who I believe is not so happy. But wait, what is Brian Cage doing? He picks up Brian Cage, Brian Cage with an elbow to the face of Cork, and Brian Cage escapes that one, and a super kick. And now, what is Brian Cage planning to do here? And a 6 1 9 in tribute to Ray Mysterio Jr. And what is Grandmaster doing here? He's trying to distract Brian Cage. Well, what is he? What is he doing? What is he saying? And now 
Taz, Taz has had enough. He's had enough. Now Brian Gaze needs to be careful because Korg is already up on his feet. He doesn't even notice and he gets caught by Korg and Korg showing the strength he has. That literal and human strength he has and a clothesline. Another clothesline or a lariat. I think I'll just call that a lariat. It looks more like a lariat to me. What a gigantic lariat to end that one. And it looks like whatever Korg's pro wrestling trade again is finally paying off. And a massive body slam by Korg, now going for the cover. And Cage kicks out. Now the beginning of the match has been in the favor of Brian Cage, but now Korg has it. But wait, Brian Cage escapes again. A belly to back suplex. Brian Cage is, is acting godlike here. What is this? Ah, sweet 420 reference for Brian Cage before. Oh, shit. Oh shit, he was gonna go for a power bomb. But Korg, is that enough? What is this? A huge splash from Korg. And what the hell? And I guess Tass is trying to even things out with what Grandmaster did earlier. And Grandmaster gets hit. He gets hit by Taz. But Korg is here. Jack to Taz and Taz is down. Brian Cage with a hurricane rata and he sends Korg down. Brian Cage picks him up. German suplex and Korg's neck just lands on the apron. He's made out of the rocks though. He's made out of rocks, so maybe he's not taking that much damage. But wait! Brian Cage with a power bomb onto the ground. And now the referee is counting. Both men better get in, and we have yet to see how much damage Korg has taken. I mean, he's made out of rocks, so he's probably much more fine than a human being. And and he's back inside, and he gets caught, he gets caught by Brian Cage, drill claw attempt, but no, wait, Brian Cage counters, and a boot to the face, what is Brian Cage gonna do, Moon soft, he gets caught by Korg, what the hell, holy shit, that hurts, that hurts, I didn't even take that move, but I already know how much that hurts, what the hell, is Brian Cage still alive, and he picks up Brian Cage, both men fighting for a victory. And a power bomb, a payback power bomb, followed by a boot, sending Brian Cage outside of the ring. It looks like Cork is gonna dive. And just like a meteorite, he crash lands. And Brian Cage is picking up strength here. And what is he gonna do? He's running the ropes. Brian Cage with the biggest tope Kohilo of his life onto a rock. Alien, giant creature, whatever you want to call Korg. And he, with all of his strength, bringing Korg back inside of the ring. And Brian Cage picking him up here. Can he do it? He does a drill claw by Brian Cage. Cage goes for the cover. Ladies and gentlemen, what an unbelievable victory by Brian Cage in his debut match here in Destroyer. Not just a debut match, he just defeated a person who's literally out of this world, an actual alien. Ladies and gentlemen, this person, Brian Cage, the machine, definitely deserves this celebration. That was a hard fought battle. Korg just needed a lot more experience in pro wrestling, but you know, if he was a human being, I believe he could have been dead with what Brian Cage was doing. And these two men showing respect to each other. And oh no, uh, the Grandmaster doesn't look too happy with Korg here. Did he just mention a spaceship? Did they, is there a spaceship in the parking lot?
there you have it, Brian Cage challenging world champion Brody Lee. And after this match, I think he, he does deserve a title shot. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What is going on here? And it's a general manager, Eric Bischoff. Holy shit, ladies and gentlemen, a dream match has just been signed by Eric Bischoff. On the next Destroyer Wrestling, Brian Cage will take on Kane. The winner takes on Brody Lee for that world championship. I can't wait.